This is how we make the moonshine. These things are heavy. We need to start a, a gym class. Moonshiner's gym? It's a moonshiner's workout. In Haywood County, North Carolina, after a profitable summer outselling the competition, Richard and Craig prepare to mash in a seasonal pumpkin spice moonshine. Man, this is a whole lot of pumpkins. I know. We're going to be back here cutting all day. Since Craig and I came to Mag Valley, our moonshine's been selling like hotcakes. Only one problem. That really ticked off Mike Cockrell. Look, they done tore the damn steel up. Where's our elbow right here? I think they took it. Look what else them son of a bitch has got. That's our elbow. We're going to get the hell out of here. So we're not going to take our steel piece so we can at least start making some? No, this is their stash spot. We're going to get them later. We don't have a functioning still. Mike and Jerry stole our thump elbow, but well, that's not going to stop us. Fire in the hole. We're going to get this pumpkin spice mashed in, and while it's working off, we're going to solve our elbow problem. You know what this is? It's a planer. That's going to save us a whole bunch of time and energy. We have to take the skin off of the pumpkin. We have to get these things clean. We have to dice them up, and we got to get them to ball. That's a lot of work when you got 60 pumpkins to start peeling. This guy wants a seasonal liquor. This is a seasonal liquor right here, pumpkin. Can't get no more seasonal than that. We're going to do a traditional pumpkin spice. We're going to do it with cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, a little ginger, something that you would typically taste in a pumpkin pie. We're going to put that into an alcohol. Second pot. So these pumpkins, after you cook them down, it has so much flavor. Man, you smell that? It's like a, a pie or something. That's what I want them to think they're drinking. I can eat this right now just like it is. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, that tastes so good. This is going to be another home run right here. These pumpkins have cooked down good enough for us to go ahead and add to our mash barrels. So we put some of this liquid sugar that we got from Mr. Kelly in. We're going to add our pumpkin straight to it. I'm going to mix this up real good with this sugar. Put some water in it, cool it down, pitch some yeast. Come on, we got to do this three, four more times. We're already way behind because Mike and Jerry stole our elbow, but we're going to build a new elbow for the steel. We're going to get right back in production. I'm anxious to put some good liquor in Maggie Valley, but my hand's going to be hurt. Your hand's starting to cramp up? Yeah, but that's what it takes to do this, to be innovative. We got these pumpkins at a really, really good deal. Cost us only $150. If you do the math, today, price of pumpkins being $12 to $14, we pretty much paid like $3 a pumpkin. Stir it up with that paddle. We're doing this in Maggie Valley at low cost. We're doing better than back home, and I'm loving every minute of it. Hey, you want to fish these? Yeah. Here, go ahead. Smell like bread is bacon. So we got the last of our pumpkins done. We're going to make sure that everything's good, tidy up the site. And we're going to get to work on our elbow. The most crucial part of the moonshine still right now to us is that elbow that we don't have. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, we're going to just do some quick measurements here, man. We need one four by two connector here. So that's going to take this four inch and turn it into a two inch where we could put a two inch pipe out of there. I'm real pissed about the fact that we even have to get into building a new elbow for this arm. We know that Mike and Jerry took that thing. They think that we're gonna be stopped, but I can do anything. We're gonna build this arm, and as soon as this mash work off, we're gonna get right back in production. All right, we got our two inch pipe. Now, I couldn't find anything four inch, so we got some Medusas. All right, let's carry it in, man. We're losing daylight. I had trouble finding elbows and collars and pipe. I can't even find copper sheeting right now. That's how bad things are with copper. So we're reducing our four inch pipe down to a two inch pipe. That's where that's gonna sit. It shouldn't be too hard to make an elbow. I can do that in my sleep. We really don't even have to sort it. We could just paste it so we could take it on and off. We just gotta sort of one of these joints for our 90. That's it. This is a quick fix because we got customers waiting on us. We got orders waiting on us right now, and we can't afford to just sit back and wait. See, it looks like it's penetrated down here, but it hasn't. Oh, it's still bubbling up right there. I gotta get it right there. That's gonna be one of the last spots right there. I have no doubt that Mike and Jerry stole our elbow, but these guys ain't gonna just do this to us and expect us to walk away with our tail between our legs. Everything else is sorted up, good. It stays in place. Them boys didn't know that we could do this. They thought we were gonna be crippled by that. It's done. See this thing here? Right there. That's good. 
Yeah, just like that. We paste everything. And we paste in everything. That's it, we back in business. And we'll run that pumpkin, man. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Since Craig and I have gotten to Maga Valley, we've faced a whole lot of curveballs. But I mean, we're true moonshiners and we're persevering. Smells good. Oh hell yeah, some fine wine. They got alcohol in there, let me see. Oh yeah, yeah, it's ready to go. We got our elbow fixed. We got our pumpkin spice mash worked off. It looks like we're back on track. Come on, we might as well get to work. Mike and Jerry think they knocked us out, but we're right back up and ready to keep fighting. Craig, I think our new elbow look good, man. We can start bucketing some mash over, start getting everything ready. We got 150 gallons of mash. Using Mark and Digger still, we should come out with 15 gallons of a real good pumpkin spice moonshine. All right, last one. Look at that. Look how pretty. Wow. Turn it down. We'll be running in no time. Yeah, we're back in business. That elbow is going to work real good. We're going to paste everything up. We can't have no leaks in this new setup. I'm happy this plan working itself out. I can already see it. Once people get a load of this pumpkin spice moonshine around here, my phone's going to be blowing off the hook. Because it's probably starting to get it's getting hot. hot already. I know that Mike and Jerry are not putting out liquor in Maggie Valley like this. I know that for a fact. It's going down yet? Oh, yeah. Should be any minute. Hey man, we're starting to run. Oh, I can smell it. It's running good, man. Yep, I can't wait to taste it. Yeah, it's running good. So we're gonna make sure we get rid of all of these heads. We're gonna start collecting the good stuff. Man, I tell you what, I'm gonna take a drink of this. <laughs> yeah, let's see what we got now since we slowed it down. God damn, man. I'm telling you, that's good. It's like pumpkin pie. Ooh. This is exactly what I wanted. This is a really good drink. You wouldn't think that you can ferment a pumpkin and make it a real good alcohol. Ain't no stopping us now. Them boys ain't gonna know what hit them. This is something that everybody could enjoy, whether it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, whenever and for whatever. How many jars you got there? This would be number eight right here. That's two gallons of some damn good liquor. Liquor nobody else got around here. Hi, Jeff. Oh, what the hell? Man, what the hell happened? What the hell happened, man? Oh, God damn, that arm blew off of there, man. Cut the gas, cut the gas. Oh, what the hell happened? It blew the damn elbow. Look at all the damn alcohol we losing. What happened? It must be too much pressure. Pressure built up so strong. Son of a bitch. Now what we gonna do about the rest of this run? We can't do nothing but shut it down, man. It's too dangerous to keep running that thing. Look. That thing blew way over here. Oh, that's one piece of it. Damn. It's hot, watch it. Man, look at that. Oh my goodness. Look how much force that thing hit with, man. That is stupid, dumb, crazy. It bent copper piping. Look at that. That would have tore somebody's head off, man. We got all this effort, all this time. We got all that mash sitting up in there. We're gonna have to get an elbow. That mash ain't gonna be no more good in a little while. It's a big setback right here, man. We got a customer waiting on. This right here, we ain't got but two gallons to give to him. We're gonna have to get our elbow back. Damn it, let's go get it. 